question, which is sort of on free speech issues. It's a video from Daryl Toohey in Darlinghurst, New South Wales. My question is to George Brandis. Given your government wants to unwind the anti-vilification laws, isn't Tony Abbott being a complete hypocrite for criticising the ABC's Chaser program for defending itself against Chris Kenny? After all, isn't this what the Abbott government wants? American-style dog-eat-dog freedom of speech laws? And shouldn't Chris Kenny just man up? Thank you. Oh, honestly. George Brandis. Well, first of all, we're not unwinding the racial vilification laws. We're taking the anti-free speech elements out of them. So let's mm. just get that straight for the, to start with. And one thing, one thing we also have to get straight is that we can't obviously prejudge um, the defamation trial that's going. We but can't, I made... but I do agree. I, as, a, as, a, as a lawyer, I do agree with the Prime Minister's view that rather than fight this defamation case with taxpayers' money, why wouldn't the ABC just apologise... Uh, Mr Kenny, as I understand it, has said that that's all he wants. I didn't see the skit, but I've seen reports of it. And I, I, saw I don't it. actually it, believe that is all he wants. Well, uh, I, I, not according to Media well, Watch this evening. Well, 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 well I, I, I understand from his column that he's actually said yeah. that's all he wants. Why wouldn't you? It was an extremely... It's all he wanted originally. It was ex it's all he was after originally was an apology. But now that the ABC refused to apologise, and it's gone on for such a long time, and it was so deeply offensive to his family, his lovely wife, Sunita. She's a, a wonderful woman. I think it, after it's gone on for this amount of time, yeah. I mean, well, he'd, you'd have to speak to him. all members of his family, well, point, it should be noted. No, we're not your, all members. Your point only makes the ABC's attitude worse. I mean, if, if, that, if that's the case... OK, can, Attorney then, General, then, can, I, can I just impose a question here? Yes. And that is, the Prime Minister's stated opinion is that the case is indefensible. Doesn't that have an effect on what a jury might think? Um, I wouldn't think so. So you, you I the highest th office in the land. I, 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 I wouldn't think so. I mean, I think the Prime Minister is entitled to his opinion. Do you think it's coming very close to contempt, though? No, I don't. No, I don't. That's a, that's a comment from a person who's never been a legal practitioner. He's a political leader. He's entitled to comment on the controversies will of the, the jury, day. Will the jury be instructed to ignore uh, well, comments from the Prime Minister? Will, will, in fact, the judge be forced I to don't, ask the jury to ignore comments from the Prime Minister I wouldn't saying the case that's being made here is indefensible? I wouldn't anticipate the Prime Minister's comments would be put into evidence before the jury anyway, but to the extent to which there was... This is a public controversy now. So to the extent to which there is, you know, background commentary uh, about the case, including the remark the Prime Minister made, routinely the judge would say to the jurors, you should disregard everything you've read about this case in the newspapers or heard on the radio or on the television. But wouldn't the jury have already heard that comment? I mean, it's one thing to say disregard, or... but when the highest office in the land says that this is indefensible... Well, Lisa, with your background in the media, you would know as well as I do that um, all high-profile cases are a legitimate matter of commentary in the media and um, there is a, a routine uh, direction that judges give to jurors to say, well, you may have heard these things, but your job is to decide this case according to the evidence that you've heard in this courtroom and not otherwise. OK, let's hear from our other panellists. Now, Sherry, you're still uh, on fire there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think if you asked any reasonable person, should the ABC waste taxpayers' funds defending this highly offensive uh, image and 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 uh, words that was clearly in poor taste. The average person would say it's a waste of money. And can I tell you that in the uh, pre-trial court hearing last week, the ABC had a legal team of nine what? nine uh. people to defend to attempt to defend uh, this horrific and insulting image. I completely agree with the Prime Minister. I think he's spot on. It's a waste of taxpayers' funds. So I apologise because I'm saying this in the ABC, but I agree with that. I need to apologise. You're entitled to your opinion. Uh, Chris Barnes. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't see the, the chase of skate either. I've seen it since. I've seen the reporting of it since and it's juvenile, offensive, crass, undergraduate. You Not take your pick. Not even funny. Not even funny and highly insulting to Chris Kenny. Uh, and should not have been aired in, on any test of good taste, frankly. Uh, what the, how the ABC wants to handle that, though, is, I think, a matter of the independent ABC. I'm not aware of their strategy, their reasons, uh, and I'm not going to second-guess that, but I didn't think there was any place for it in any sensible discussion, and I think Chris Kenny had every right to be insulted by it. Uh, Marcia, do you have any opinion on this at all? I think the ABC should apologise and uh, not waste taxpayers' money. Well, I think that's probably all we have time for tonight. <laughs> Unanimity. Unanimity at last. <laughs>
Uh, well, I'm not going to apologise straight here. <laughs> uh, please thank our panel, Lisa Wilkinson, George Brandis, Marcy Lankin, Sherry Markson and Chris Bowen.